This is a quick update video just to let you know how I'm getting on with my Bresenham's circle drawing algorithm in our assembly language. Now as you can see I've managed to get it up and working and I've drawn out a circle which gives us the fullest extent of our graphics card and you can see here it's looking quite good. It is in fact a circle. <laughs> which is always a bonus when you're trying to draw a circle. Now, there is one issue with it, though, that still exists, and the reason why I haven't done the full video, and that is I can only get it working for the uh, center point zero zero. So I can show you some of the... Uh, well, I can show you the reason why it won't work. I know the reason why, but... Um, Knowing the reason why and actually fixing it are sometimes um, different things. So the, the reason is quite straightforward actually. Um, if we were to um, generate all of the points in this octant here, okay, so all the points of the circle that goes go from here to here, then we could generate all of these points here simply by reflecting in the line y equals x. That is, every x-coordinate becomes a y-coordinate and every y-coordinate becomes an x-coordinate. So you can see here that 1, 3 would map into 3, 1. So it means that we can get this full quadrant here um, just by working out the values for this quadrant and then swapping the x and y values around about. But of course, that's not going to work whenever it's offset by a certain fat value. So let's say we offset this to um, this center point here. Uh, 4 minus 5, and we do the same thing, we're along 1 and up 3, so the same thing is here, along 1 and up 3, then of course whenever we swap around these two values, 5 and minus 2, which is in effect what we've done up here, of course when we swap those two values round about, um, all it does is it reflects back on this line here to a point up here, whereas we don't want it to, we want it to reflect to this point here, which would be... Um, the, uh, the the equivalent of this point, okay, for the shifted origin. Now, I thought this would be quite an easy fix because all we really need to do is just work out all of the values um, at the origin, okay, and when we work it out at the actual origin, then we can just go and shift it by the required x value and the required y value. Now, that sounds easy in itself, but um, I've messed about with the code for the last um, uh, few hours and I seem to be chasing my tail trying to fix it. So um, I'll show you the code, a little bit of the code just now, just if you're interested. Um, and so this is the, the code here. It looks quite like a long piece of code, but it's not really, it's just that. Um, rather than just printing one um, quadrant, we have to, in effect, do this quad one. So we have to get quad one, quadrant two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so there's going to be eight different outputs uh, for each iteration through the loop. But we generate the loop as per the um, algorithm, which I explained in the last couple of videos. And the algorithm was quite easy to put, put, um, put together. Um, but as I say, I'm still working on getting it shifting to any point uh, and it's a bit annoying because every time I think about it, I think it should be real easy and then when I go to do it, I seem to chase myself and tie myself up in knots <laughs> trying to do it um, and I feel sure it's going to be one of these that um, I just go away from and leave it for a day or so and then do something else and then when I come back, it'll be like clear as day how, how how to do it and I'll be you know kicking myself thinking why was that why did I find that so difficult um, so anyway that's where I am at the moment uh, so I will persevere with this um, possibly for the uh, another hour or so uh, and then I'm thinking about moving on for the day and doing a nice book review of my one of my favorite books of all time technical books 
transforms and signals and systems. I've mentioned this before in the um, web in the, the, the channel, but I've never actually gone through like a proper you know, book review. So I was intending to get a nice proper book review of this amazing book. So that's all for this video. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.